Mr. President, Senate Republicans are about 24 hours away from passing a bill that would make middle class families in this country pay more taxes so that big corporations and millionaires can pay less. Now, a bill like that would never really make sense, but it really, really doesn't make sense right now. Since 1980, corporate profits have shot through the roof, while wages for working people have remained pretty much the same. And with corporate profits up and family incomes flat, who's paying the cost of running the government? Well, thanks to Congress, over the past 50 years, corporations have gone from picking up about 25% of what it costs to run the government to picking up about 9%. Or to say it another way, hardworking families now pick up a much bigger share of the cost of running our government. Now, I don't care whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. This just isn't fair. Corporations are wallowing in profits, while hard-pressed families are picking up the bill for our military, for our government agencies, for homeland security, for our infrastructure, and for everything else that we have to pitch in to pay for. And here comes the Republican tax bill, which would make a bad situation worse. The Republican tax bill would slash taxes on corporations even further and raise taxes on millions of working families. You know, it is hard to comprehend how deeply unfair that is. A survey released last May by the Federal Reserve found that 44% of American families, just a bit under half, don't have enough slack in their budget to cover a $400 emergency expense. If the transmission blows up or if a kid gets sick or if the fridge stops working, these families are just plain out of luck. And these are the same families that the Republicans have targeted to pay more in taxes under the Republican plan. In trying to sell a bill that is deeply unfair, Republicans have landed on a tried and true strategy. Just lie about it. The first big lie is that the plan will supercharge economic growth. Spoiler alert, it won't. We've seen this movie before, and we know how it ends. There is not one, not one single credible projection that says this plan will have any meaningful impact on the growth of the American economy. One group of economists after another has looked at this bill and said it won't do a darn thing to help the economy grow. Even Wall Street banks, which stand to pocket billions of dollars in tax giveaways from this bill, have grudgingly had to admit that the bill won't lead to any growth. Barclays Bank said, quote, a permanent boost to growth eh, remains unlikely. And Goldman Sachs said, quote, we find a boost to GDP growth of one-tenth of one percent to two-tenths of one percent in 2018 to 2019 <laughs> and smaller amounts in subsequent years. Second big lie, is that if we just give corporations more money, they will surely do us the favor of raising wages or creating more jobs. We've seen that movie before, too. Over the last 30 years, corporate profits have exploded, and companies have not trickled down those profits to workers. They didn't do it before, and they won't do it after the Republicans give away even more money to these giant corporations. But you don't have to take my word for it. The top executives at the companies have already admitted as much. Bank of America and Merrill Lynch surveyed 300 CEOs about what they would do with their tax giveaways. What are they going to do with those tax giveaways? Top three responses, pay down debt, buy back stock, fund new mergers. In other words, something for the banks, something for wealthy investors, and nothing, nothing for workers. The third big lie is that the plan won't increase the national debt. That's just plain false. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office says this bill will tack on $1.4 trillion to the debt in the next 10 years. And we all know what comes next. The same Republican senators who will vote for this trillion dollar budget buster tomorrow will turn around and vote next week and say, 
Our national debt is just too high, and we need to cut Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security and education funding and affordable housing and you name it. In fact, the Republican budget they passed last month tees up more than a trillion dollars in cuts to those very programs. This bill raises taxes on millions of middle class families, and it doesn't create any real economic growth. It doesn't create any real job growth, and it explodes the national debt. So this bill clearly is not about helping working families. So you really have to stop and ask the question, what is it about? The answer is simple. This is about Republican senators paying off the rich corporate donors that helped get them elected. It's about the way that money has corrupted Washington. It is about wealthy donors investing a few million dollars in political contributions to secure billions of dollars in tax giveaways. Here's what one of my Republican colleagues said recently. If we don't pass a tax bill, quote, financial contributions will dry up. A Republican member of the House was even more blunt. He said on the record that his donors told him to pass this tax bill or don't ever call them again. In other words, Republicans have said to each other that they need to pass a tax giveaway to give their donors money in order to get reelected. This is a smash and grab job. The Republicans are looting the U.S. Treasury so that their donors will keep funding their re-election campaigns. They don't even try to hide the corruption. And they don't worry about how many middle class families get hurt in the caper. My take on this is pretty simple. I don't think a single middle class family in this country should pay more in taxes so that big corporations and millionaires can pay less. I think big corporations should pay more, not less, so that we can cut taxes on working families and small businesses, so that we can make investments in fixing our roads and our bridges and our power grid, and so that we can help young people reduce their student loan debt. This is about basic fairness. We can build an America where every kid has a shot at success, where every family has some measure of economic security, where every senior has enough savings to retire with dignity. We can do that, and we can start by defeating this Republican tax giveaway. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.